how many rolls of toilet paper does it actually take to completely kill the coronavirus? Is the answer one roll? Two rolls? Could you kill it with four rolls of toilet paper? Five rolls? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. In this video, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do the math that shows you how many rolls of toilet paper you actually need to completely kill this terrible virus. So the idea is we have the toilet paper function. So T sub P of T, this is the toilet paper function and it's a piecewise continuous function. And so to figure out uh, how many rolls of toilet paper we actually need to kill the virus, we're going to take the Laplace transform of this function. So the Laplace transform of the toilet paper function, which is a function of time, it tells you how much toilet paper you need over a period of time in order to kill the coronavirus. This is equal to the improper integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative st times our toilet paper function t sub p of t dt. So the Laplace transform will exist as long as this function is piecewise continuous, and it is, we all know the toilet paper function is piecewise continuous, and if it's of exponential order. So this is equal to the limit as b goes to infinity of the definite integral from zero to b e to the negative st tp of t I've used integration by parts and hopefully I've used it correctly and we've arrived here. So now we're gonna use an ancient technique known as Feynman's trick. So here goes. Okay, so we use Feynman's trick, as you can see here, and we got infinity. So what does this mean? It means the Laplace transform of the toilet paper function is equal to infinity. This means that this function is bigger than an exponential function. It grows without bound. So we need an infinite amount of toilet paper to kill the coronavirus. Not very good news, sorry.